have it. Anna Johnson. Mr Speaker, can I raise a point of order on the issue of a statement made by the Prime Minister to Fegan Murray, the mother of Martin Hett, who was murdered in the Manchester Arena bombings? She would walked 200 miles from Manchester to London to mark the seventh anniversary this week of that terror atrocity, and the Prime Minister rightly met with Fegan at one o'clock on Wednesday of this week. Uh, Fegan, as you know, Mr Speaker, has been campaigning for Martin's Law for several years and in fact gave evidence to the Home Affairs Select Committee on the pre-legislative scrutiny that we were carrying out on the Draft Terrorism Protection of Premises Bill. We pu published our uh, pre-legislative scrutiny report in July 23 and we've not had a, a response from the Government on that despite uh, there being a usual requirement of a response within two months. However, the Prime Minister told uh, Fegan on Wednesday lunchtime that the bill would be rushed through Parliament before the summer recess. This was at 1pm, uh, I understand. Mr Speaker, have you had any uh, explanation from the Prime Minister about why he would say that when four hours later he called the general election and clearly no bill could be rushed through before the summer recess and the fact that uh, Fegan Murray was misled by the Prime Minister? Yeah, yeah. First of all, we've got to be careful in the language that we use. I have, been given, I have no knowledge or information about what conversation took place and I wouldn't speculate and I know the Honourable Lady, right Honourable Lady, wouldn't expect me to also speculate on what happened. What I want to say is, it, she's put it on the record, I think we'll leave it at that for now. And what we're now going to do, I'm going to suspend the House. Before the House returns, the bell will ring five minutes before to warn that the House is sitting again. House suspended.